morning. The morning of day four. I'm just uh, copying a whole bunch of files over on the computer. Woken up, I had a very nice sleep. I think I slept more than I usually would. The wind has swung down and turned further east, which means we're not creating our own wind by moving fast into it. This is all apparent wind, which you need to look up. It's very interesting. I've had to change the uh, pattern of the sails a little bit, tighten a few things up, loosen a few things off, and the motion of the boat's much different, which you, you notice immediately. Okay, so the motion of the boat is a little bit annoying at the moment. Going at nearly seven knots, that's pretty nice. I don't think I'm going to touch that. We're flying. We're flying now! I think we've slowed down again. Oh, divine and benevolent oven, shall we shake out a reef? I know I shouldn't have undone that car under load but I've done it before and it worked usually I can manhandle that anyway Fit and agile mind, it's a fit and agile body. One, two, one. Okay, weather report, not particularly good. It's picking up, today it's fine. Tomorrow it's gonna be 19 knots. The day after, 25. The day after, 30 knots. So, that's not, that's not awesome. So there's today, three days it's building, and then two days of nothing, where I will we'll probably have to motor in order to avoid a low. Yeah, well, I, sh I showed you on the, on the computer before I left, those big red and even dark red, which is 35, 40, 50 knots of wind, some of these, some of these lows, and six, eight meter swell. So I definitely want to avoid them, which means I'll probably motor for the last two. No, I'll get another weather report uh, coming up, but that's the plan at the moment. got cabbage, tomato, onion, and garlic, and honestly, it's amazing. I, uh, I've surprised myself. I did not expect that that was gonna be very nice. And I've got a little podcast to keep me company over dinner. The Psychology Podcast with Dr. Scott Barakal. I just went and changed the, shortened the sails, wound everything in. I uh, can't believe I took so long to do that. It was scary. The sails were flapping, waves were coming up over the bow. I was getting sprayed with sea salt. And it's only 24. 
I'm glad I didn't wait until dark to do that. We don't have a very good setup for that third reeve. That means we have to go forwards and do it and unthread another one as I'll as I'm sure you'll see, but but all done now. And uh, it's just the noise of the sails. It's, I don't know, hopefully we can get that on camera, but they are so loud. Wings of demons. All right, I guess I'll do my wrap up for the day. Day four, we've traveled 400 nautical miles all up. So we're one third of the way there. We've got about 775 to go. Bearing 200 to 215 at about, what are we now? Five and three quarter knots, I think. Winds from basically the same southeast and ranging between, what did I say yesterday? 17 to 22. It must be more than that today. Maybe I got a bit carried away yesterday. It must be 20 to 25 today. I think it would be gusting to 25 and it'd be consistent 20s out there. I was sitting down here before and we were like heeled over like like this and I was like, oh, I was wondering if I should go and take a reeve or not. Oh my God. We, we haven't dropped any boat speed at all and we're sitting like from there, now we're sitting like this and you can actually, I was just on edge all, it was probably only like that for an hour, but before that I was starting to think, and the sun's going down, of course you'd take a reef. Even I know that. Anyway, that's me done for the day. Thank you very much for watching everyone head over to our facebook page and give that a like to follow that's where we're going to put more photos and stuff like that and very much the most up-to-date of information that we can provide that's our best platform for that so if you'd like to keep abreast of our travels and everything that's happening please head over there